What's up everybody and welcome to the channel. Today we are going to be installing more carbon fiber on the Toyota Supra. So as you guys have seen, did the carbon fiber lip spoiler and then around front the carbon fiber front splitter. So now we have the Keys Motorsports carbon fiber side skirts. All three of these products are Keys Motorsports and we have all these on our website. So if you want to get some carbon fiber for your Toyota Supra, take a look at the link down below to order these carbon fiber side skirts. They are super sweet looking already and I'm excited to put them on the car in addition to the rest of the carbon that's already on here. And as you can tell, it is real carbon fiber, a nice gloss weave, really good attention to detail and quality. So the way they're gonna install, we have a huge 3M tape piece on the inside and then on the back side, there are a few pilot holes already drilled out as you can see. So it'll attach like that underneath the factory side skirt. So since it is a hot summery day, let's pull this into the garage and start adding the carbon side skirts to the Supra. So to now work on the side skirt, you're gonna to wanna to take the one with the smaller end on this left side, and then the bigger end on the right side, this is your driver's side. Now you can see the 3M tape. So this little triangle shaped piece right here, that's gonna to correspond to the plastic side skirt from factory, where it butts up to the paint up in front. So that's kind of a rough estimate of how it's going to sit. And then I'm gonna use the floor jack behind me to help hold up the backside as I adhere this. So to start off, since this is gonna be adhesive on first and then screwed on, just using a bunch of little screws like this, so super inexpensive, easy screws to find. I'm gonna go ahead and use some wax and grease remover, and we're gonna clean the underside, that way the adhesive sticks really well. So this is gonna be a pretty secure design. So, wanna make sure we get underneath the paint, and then all underneath the side skirt. I've already cleaned the side skirt, make sure it's not dirty or anything like that. And just go the whole way, basically the whole underside of the side skirt. You wanna clean that nicely. And as you can see, we got a little bit of dirt off of that. So from here, I guess I'll just go ahead and peel off the majority of the 3M tape. So peeling that off, we'll just go about halfway or so. And now I'm gonna use a combination of the floor jack and just the tape to hold this in the correct place. And I'm kind of butting it up against the rock guards that I have on my car as well. Floor jack to just hold this up a little bit. All right, and from here, I'm gonna go ahead and at least drill a hole and get something tacked into place. So with that one all done, I'm gonna lower the jack now and get this out of the way. And then just let this kind of hang a little bit and peel off the rest of the tape. And now, now you wanna really line it up against the plastic side skirt and make sure the contours match from the carbon fiber to the plastic. Make sure it's a nice, tight, secure fit. And from here, just kinda of hold it tightly as you make another hole. All right, one hole down. Luckily, the tape that's on this makes it a lot easier to hold everything securely as you go ahead and do this. And once I got these two in, we should be secure enough. All right, so now I'm just gonna go underneath the underside and finish up all those holes. All right, well there we go, that was super easy. You can see that carbon fiber, and I really like how it kind of matches up to the plastic portion, just because when I look at the front splitter, you still have the satin black plastic, but then the splitter is in addition to that. So it kind of matches it, given it's the same design. But that's looking really good now. We'll get it out in the sunlight in just a second, but let's flip to the other side. All right, one last look now at the factory side skirt with the plastic. It is pretty neat though that Toyota does design this car like that. You don't really normally see like kind of like a body kit on a factory car, 
but of course, you know, adding some good carbon stuff definitely makes it even more fun. And honestly, this has been the easiest installation. It maybe took five minutes to do the other side. So let's go ahead and knock out the passenger side. Once again, we'll clean it up and get it on. Right, and another five minutes later, Super is all done. Super quick and easy, and I'm loving the look. It's not like a crazy in-your-face, you know, side skirt that just sticks out really weird. It's a nice, clean design, matches super well to that front splitter and, of course, the rear wing. But I'm loving it. And these are really not even too expensive to get genuine carbon fiber on the car. So really cool way to go, and I like how you kind of get that contrast with the plastic original one and then the carbon. That is really cool looking. Comment below, what do you guys think? I think we might need a rear diffuser next, but that is looking super, super good. And now let's go ahead and get out in the sunlight. We can see how the front splitter matches with that new side skirt. So there we go, installing the Keys Motorsports carbon fiber side skirts for the Mark V Toyota Supra. Super easy to do, and I love the look. It looks so cool now, just that extra touch of carbon. I think, honestly, when I end up doing new wheels in a different color, I think I'm gonna have to go with carbon fiber mirror caps, honestly, to tie it all in. So of course we got that front splitter, which I am in love with. Wasn't sure if I would like that, but that is so cool looking. Got a lot of compliments on it, and a lot of you seem to like that as well. And then these side skirts, they look great. They really just add the perfect touch to where this kind of looks like it could be an OEM kit, kind of like the Carbon Fiber Edition Supra. So I think it comes together really well, just how it fits and how you can still see the plastic one behind it. So it looks like a good addition. You got that extra width down here to where you're now extending the bodywork a little bit in front. So that looks so good. Of course, we got the carbon wing in back. But comment below, what do you guys think of these Keys Motorsports carbon fiber parts for the Toyota Supra? I'm loving the new style. Gosh, it really helps give this car that lower, wider stance. Of course, we got the springs and spacers on it to give it that lower and wider stance. And now just like the ground effects kit really, really adds so much. I can't stop looking at it. Wow, I am loving it. Yeah, comment below, what do you guys think? I think Supra is coming together so, so well. And the carbon itself, I love the weave and everything, the glossiness. Man, I have no complaints. Those things look so good on the Toyota Supra. So I think that is then it for adding more carbon fiber to the Toyota Supra, the Keys Motorsports carbon side skirts. We have these on our website, linked down in the description below. A few of you have already ordered these before I even got to it. So it was awesome to see your guys' pictures and thoughts on these products, but Man, oh man, Supra. This thing is so much fun to modify. Like seriously, working on this car is just so much fun. Anyways, that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for plenty more content, and I'll see you all in the next video.